What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. And um, one of my followers told me that I should do a Joe Winko Talk about what I did for Labor Day weekend. But the sad truth is, I really didn't do anything for Labor Day weekend. Except for The Sims 4. And, um, as you guys all saw in my gaming videos for The Sims 4, I'll have the link somewhere in an annotation. Hopefully I remember to put it in this video, somewhere on the screen. Um, as you all probably saw in my Sim 4, Sims 4 playthroughs, it's a pretty awesome game. The people look better, a lot better than they did in The Sims 3, because I remember when I filmed my movie Friday the 13th with The Sims 3, I had to download a whole bunch of mods and change the way their faces looked so they wouldn't have the the bloated faces. It, But even then, they still didn't look as good as they did in The Sims 2, but in Sims 4, they look pretty awesome. And the create a sim mode is a lot better, too. But the only problem is, it's not an open world like Sims 3 was. Like, you can't run... You can run to your friend's house, but you have to wait for loading screens and everything. And you can still go downtown and go to park... Well, not downtown, but go to the community lots. But you still have to wait for loading screens. And I'm not sure if you can build your own community lots, either. I haven't got that much into the game yet. But it's still an awesome game. They still need to upgrade, upgrade it, though, and add some expansion packs. But it has a lot of potential. And another one of my followers told me that I should do a video about tattoos and piercings. And I decided to give that a shot, so I went on Google and looked up weird tattoos and piercings. And a lot of the stuff I found was too gross to show in my Joe Winko talk videos. But this actually brings up something in my personal life. So I don't have my ears pierced, but I kind of always wanted to get them pierced. And um, I ordered these earrings from Amazon. There are these little skull earrings. I still have them right here. <coughs> and they're pretty cool. Let me show them to you. Let me just get them out of here first. I'll, I'll show you one of them. They're really small, too. And they're silver. See that? Isn't that awesome? Not sure how well you guys can see that. But they're shaped as skulls. And I think these are really cool. I saw them on Amazon for $4, and I thought, oh, these are so badass, I gotta get them. So I did. They came in. I was gonna get my ears pierced. But there's one thing I'm scared of now. Now, I'm pretty sure... If you guys don't know what keloids are, you're just gonna have to look them up yourself, because I don't want to have pictures of keloids on my... on my Joe Winko Talk video, especially the ones people get on their ears, because that's just disgusting. It's like scar tissue that grows in. Like, if you get a cut or something, some people will just get a normal scar, but some people will get a keloid, like this. This is the keloid I got from my... I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. This is the keloid I got from a dog bite. And, uh... So now, because of this, and I also have one on my knee, too. So now, I know that I'm prone to getting keloids, and I don't want to get my ears pierced, because I'm worried that I'm going to get a huge keloid in my ear. And when they're on their ear, on your ears, they look pretty bad, because they got really big and everything. And, yeah, that's just what I was worried about. But, when I thought of that, it made me really sad, too, because now I'm never going to be able to wear these earrings. But, it doesn't always happen, just because people get keloids on their arms. It doesn't mean they're going to get them on their ears, but... I don't know if I should get my ears pierced or not, so that's what I'm worried about. And that's It's kind of sad, too, because these earrings are pretty awesome, and I want to be able to wear them, too. So, yeah, plus the diamond stud ones, because those ones are really cool. All, I always wanted those, but, uh, yeah, not much for me to say about that, but I might get them pierced. Well, tell me what you guys think, actually. But, anyhow, besides that, I do have something to talk about in this Joe Winko Talk video. Another 14-year-old girl in Florida set her house on fire because, uh, she was obsessed with the Slender Man, and she was reading... So, she, she was obsessed with the Slender Man, and 
she set the house on fire to kill her whole family because she wanted to trap, to soul trap all of them. To, like, trap their souls or something. I don't know. She was reading this scary ebook she found online that was really disturbing. I have the link to this whole news story in the description. But she did a lot of damage to the house. She burnt it up really bad and everything. And I still, I still don't think they should blame the Slender Man for that, though. Because it's not, those scary stories online, it's not their fault at all. It's, this girl must have been, obviously she was really pissed off at her family to set their house on fire and try to kill all of them. Because she was out at the house at the time when she set it on fire. But it's not the Slender Man's fault. I think they're just using that as like an excuse or something. She's just using that as an excuse. But don't blame the creepypasta stories. They don't need to be taken down. They should be up. If some kids, no kid, like even the Slender Man girls who stabbed their friend to death. I think the reason why they stabbed her is because they were mad at her and wanted her dead. Not because of the Slender Man or anything. They actually found them, like, in one of the girls incompetent, meaning she can't participate in court because they think she's psychotic or something. Well, of course she's psychotic if she stabs her friend up. But don't, just don't blame the Slender Man or the writers or the Creepypasta site because it's not their fault. And that's all I have to say about that. But she did a lot of damage to the house, so just click the link in the description. I'll have the link to that news story in the description. And also, what's next to come on my YouTube channel? So, more gaming videos, of course. Well, oh, yeah, well, yeah, my Nightmare Encounter 2 movie, but I'm not going to get to that yet. But I'm going to do more gaming videos, too. Because I found a whole slew of Game Boy games, like, uh... This one is actually really hard to beat. I haven't been able to beat it at all. Mega Man 2. I've been trying to beat that since I was like in first grade, I think. No, I actually was trying to beat this since before I even started kindergarten. It's been out for a while. <laughs> Finally, something that's older than I am. But, uh... <laughs> I've been trying to beat that for a while, and I can't beat any of the levels at all. <coughs> I want to continue my Batman Return of the Joker playthrough, and I only beat it like the first three levels in this game, because I can't really get past level four. I haven't made it all the way to the Joker yet, but but I'm on my way though. I'm doing better, because back when I first started playing it, I wasn't even able to, uh, I wasn't even... I wasn't even able to fight the bosses off. I hope I'm not getting the hiccups now. And, what else is there? Oh, yeah! And this one is really cool. And, these aren't my games. These are my adopted... I do have the hiccups now. These aren't my... These aren't really my games. These are my adoptive brother's games. And, uh... Yeah, so it pays to have a, a older brother who grew up in the 90s. Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Crystal for Game Boy Color. Well, this one's for Game Boy. This one's for Game Boy Color. I'm, assume, I'm assuming this is Pokemon Yellow. I'm not really sure because the label's damaged really bad. But it's yellow and it's Pokemon and it's, and it's a picture of Pikachu. So I think it might be Pokemon Yellow. But, uh... Yeah, I tried playing them, because I play them, I'm able to play them on the big screen, because I have the Game Boy Player for GameCube. <clears throat> I'm able to play them on the big screen, because I have the Game Boy Player for GameCube. And they're pretty awesome. What you do is you create your own character, and you send them out, into, <clears throat> and you, you create your own character, and you send them out into the Pokemon universe, and... What else? You capture Pokemon and you compete and you compete in duels and battles and everything. And it's pretty awesome. And there's also this this one guy who's your who's your rival or something. And you have to compete in a lot of Pokemon battles with them. And you can name your poke you can name your Pokemon too and name your character. And this one is really cool. Go, ghosts and goblins. 
I wasn't even, I wasn't able to get that far in this game because I got it when I was like 11 years old, back when GameStop used to sell used Game Boy games, like during their final ew, final years of selling used Game Boy games. And I think it's pretty awesome. What you do is you play as this this guy who's in a night night ooh, who's in a night outfit, and his uh he's having a picnic with his wife in the cemetery at night. How many people do that? But then. His wife gets kidnapped by an evil de by an evil demon, and then these zombies and ghosts start showing up, and you have to go run across this uh, this this dark evil fantasy land to save her, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, I only made it to like the ice castle place. I, oh, I haven't made it any farther than that, but yeah. So I'm gonna do playthroughs on all of these games. And more, too, because I have a whole bunch of Game Boy, Co Ooh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games laying around that I haven't even touched yet. I just used to collect them at first. I never actually played them. But now I'm actually going to play them. But now I'm actually going to play them. Sorry, these hiccups are annoying. And... What else? Oh, yeah, my next movie, A Nightmare Encounter 2, Island of Illusion. It's on... It's my next horror movie, A Nightmare Encounter 2, Island of Illusion, it's on its way. And what it's about, it's about a... It's a sequel to my 2012 movie, A Nightmare Encounter. And it's about Freddy Krueger. He traps me on an island. And, uh... There's this, uh, mon... What? Oh, yeah. Before he traps me on the island, I move away to this new to this new town, and I make all these new friends, but then one by one, they all get killed off by Freddy Krueger. Then Freddy Krueger traps me on an island, and I have to figure out how to escape from the island. And here's the poster for it. Check it out. Alright, so my eyes in that poster were actually photoshopped. My eyes in that poster were actually photoshopped because they looked too dark. Yeah, I just plastered someone else's eyes over my eyes, so that's why they look so weird. That's, a that's actually the poster from Freddy vs. Jason, but I had to erase Jason out of the poster. And it was kind of hard getting the light, getting the lighting balanced, balanced in that picture, but it's still not really balanced anyway. So, yeah, whatever. And also, I'm planning to make... Also, I'm planning to make a Slender Man movie... Hopefully, no out of control teenager sees it and tries to blame the movie for their for their violent crime at all. But it's about me finding a picture of the Slender Man online, and then I get terrified of the Slender Man. So then, my my psychiatrist tells me that I should go out. Tells my adoptive parents to leave me. Ew. My psychiatrist tells me to leave me out in the woods for overnight so I can face my fear of the Slender Man because they don't think he's real. Ew. Because they don't think he's real, but he actually is real. I chose the worst time to get the hiccups. But, uh... Yeah, that's coming soon. And don't say, Joe, don't make that movie. Joe, don't make that movie. You're just going to inspire more people to commit violent... More teenagers to commit violent crimes. Because I got enough of that in art class during my senior year. Thank you very much. You know who you are. So... Oh, these damn hiccups... So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, don't forget to like. Oh, yeah, I'm also doing some more Sims. Ooh, some more Sims 1 and Sims 4 gameplay videos, too, once I get to that. And after I get rid of these hiccups. And possibly some workout and. Uh, possibly some weightlifting and exercising videos. I should do a video on how to get rid of hiccups now. And, uh,. Yeah, so that's basically it. So, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like my fan page on Facebook, because my new goal is 900 likes, and I want 900 likes, so don't forget to like me on Facebook, or else, oh, so don't forget to like me on Facebook, or else I'll get you. And that's it, so, peace out, people.